There's an animal that may be living on your tree right now that may be causing a lot of damage, but you won't know about it until fall. And we're here to talk with Craig McKinley about that nematode. What is a nematode? Well, we're talking about the pine wood nematode. Right. Uh, the uh, pine wood nematode is a small microscopic animal that lives in trees. Uh, it reproduces in trees and also destroys the water conducting system of those trees. Wow. And is this something that somebody were to walk up to the tree, would they be able to see it? They probably wouldn't. Usually the first symptom is the fact that the tree died very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, some people describe it as overnight. It's not quite that fast, right. but it seems like it. Okay, so this, this is a, a microscopic animal that's living on the tree that causes it to die later in the season, right? It generally occurs after the trees have undergone stress. In Oklahoma, that's usually late August, early September primarily after we've had a long, hot summer. Okay, and, and we were talking off camera, the nematodes actually travel on, on an insect. It does, it, it's vectored, mm -hmm. and that's the term, uh, from one tree to another by the pine sawyer beetle. Mm -hmm. And you may know these, they have the very long antenna. You'll mm -hmm. see sometimes called the longhorn beetle. Okay, is, is there anything that producers can be looking at in their trees right now to, to see if they have them? Really not, uh, again, uh, in order to test for the nematode, you'd have to destroy the tree, so okay. we don't want to do that. Obviously, as the tree dies, then uh, sections can be taken and we can confirm that that was the cause of death. Okay, and, and is there anything that producers can be doing to, to spray for them right now? Well, you really can't spray for them uh, because these beetles essentially are everywhere. Right. But I think the important thing is to try to prevent the stress on the tree. Okay. And one of those ways, of course, through the, the long, hot summer is by irrigating uh, those trees at frequent intervals. Okay, and, and, and there's no magic number, the tree should have this much water, it's just as it looks stressed, you should water it? Well, my general rule of thumb is a tree should get two inches of water every two weeks. Oh really, okay. Not, not one inch a week, but two inches every two weeks, and that allows the soil to dry out and then become resaturated. Okay, and, and it shouldn't be two inches over two weeks, it should be two inches at a time? At a time, right. really. Okay. Yeah, so then it, the water can, can dissipate, the tree can adapt, and then in a sense be ready for the next uh, irrigation. So if, if, if our pine tree has nematodes in it right now, what should we be doing to prevent it? from going on to the next pine tree. If in fact you see that you've got nematodes, the best thing to do is cut that tree down and dispose of it, such as burning, in order to rid the tree of any pine sawyer beetles that might be in there at this time. But once it's uh, nematodes are in the tree, there's really nothing you can do. Okay, well that's too bad for trees that, that get that in Oklahoma. I would, I would point out that it quite often is Austrian and Scots pine. Okay. And those are the two most susceptible species that we have. Okay, thank you very much, Craig McKinley with Oklahoma State University.